hello friends and today we discuss actuator example uh, basically in this example we use maxwell in order to develop a complete analysis of simple actuator in 2d cylindrical symmetry means our uh, plane is uh, rz plane uh, in this uh, actuator example uh, first we create actuator model after that uh, we use a magnetostatic solver for analysis and we also analyze same model with the help of transient solver after that we analyze okay so what is the actuator uh, basically actuator is a electro magnetic uh, device which can we uh, control the flow of liquid gas etc okay start with uh, our experiment to pen the such electronic jack stop and wait for few seconds uh, this is our uh, modular window start with the uh, first step first step is insert a design for insert a design go to maxwell's explore maxwell's here design is uh, Maxwell 2D, select Maxwell 2D and this is our modular win window this is a X plane and Y plane and uh, next step is a set a solution type for set a solution type go to Maxwell 2D click on solution type here uh, already uh, describe in our uh, problem geometrical mode is uh, rz so here select cylindrical about z and solver is a magnetostatic make it ok next step is set model unit for set model unit go to modular click on units select unit mm make it ok after the completion of this step next step is uh, create a model uh, here we create a model with the help of line first minimize, uh, minimize uh, the scale here uh, we increase the scale up to 10 mm and uh, here we first draw housing with the help of line for create creation of housing go to draw and choose line and put the x y z value one by one and create a housing so we start with uh, x value is zero y zero and z is zero make it okay again put the value of x is zero y zero and z is uh, minus 10 make it okay again put the value of x is uh, 12 x is 12 y y 0 z is uh, minus 10 z is minus 10 ok again put the value of x is 12 y 0 z is uh, 10 make it ok again put the value of x is 2.5 and uh, y 0 and z is uh, 10 make it ok again put the value of x is 2.5 2.5 by 0 and z is uh, 8 make it ok again put the value of uh, x is 10 y 0 and uh, z is 8 make it ok again put the value of uh, x is x is 10 y 0 and z is minus 8 make it ok again put the value of uh, x is uh, 2 x is 2 y 0 and z is minus 8 make it ok again put the value of x is 2 
y zero and z is zero. Make it okay. Again, put the value of x is zero, y zero, z is zero. Make it okay. Uh, this is uh, our housing. So, what is the first step? Go to history tree and double click on polylines and change the name. Name is housing. Name is housing and uh, assign the material. Here, uh, go to materials and edit. Choose material, material is steel 10 and uh, click on OK and choose the color. Here, choose the color. Okay. After the completion of this step, what is the next step? Next step is uh, create the anchor. For create the anchor, we use a rectangle. Go to draw and choose rectangle. First, put the coordinate of rectangle is x0, y0, x0, y0, and z is uh, 13. Make it okay. Put the value of dx is 2 dy is 0 and dz is uh, minus 8 make it ok this is uh, our anchor and uh, again go to history tree double click on rectangle 1 change the name name is anchor anchor assign same material go to edit select material steel 10 and uh, choose the color or anchor make it okay this is our anchor after the completion of anchor next step is create coil here we create a coil with the help of coil uh, we magnetize this uh, armature okay for creation of coil we choose a rectangle again and put the value of x is 3 y is uh, 0 and z is 7 make it ok put the value of dx here we put the dimensions of the coil dx is uh, 6 mm dy is 0 and dz is minus 40 minus 14 make it ok this is our coil here uh, we change the property of coil go to history tree double click on rectangle one and rename name is uh, coil and uh, assign material where we choose a copper material copper is a good conductor here we choose a copper make it okay and assign color Here coil is completed. After the completion of uh, housing and coil, we define the reason. Here we create a simulation reason. For create a simulation reason, go to draw and click on reason. Here uh, padded data. Select bullet of pad all direction similarly. 
and uh, put the value of uh, percentage offset value is 100 percent hit ok this is our simulation reason after the completion of this step uh, next step is assign boundary condition and uh, force parameter first uh, select the offset reason from history tree here we create a reason first select the object reason from history tree and uh, go to edit and change the selection mode selection mode is as is select uh, all three as is here we select uh, all three edges and uh, next step is go to maxwell 2d and uh, search boundaries assign vector potential make it ok here simulation region is created after the completion of simulation region next step is uh, assign force calculation here uh, we calculate force on anchor so, so, so here select anchor first select anchor from history tree and uh, and uh, go to maxwell 2d and uh, search parameter assign click on force make it ok after the completion of uh, assign boundary calculation and force parameter next step is assign excitation here we assign excitation to the coil so select uh, select coil from history tree and uh, go to maxwell 2d and search excitation assign current here uh, we apply a 110 ampere current to the coil and reference direction is positive make it ok after the completion of ex, ex, uh, ex, excitation prepare the parametric analysis for parametric analysis uh, select just create excitation current to 1 into one and uh, in property window change the uh, in property window open the property window open the prop select current and open the property window this is our property window here uh, if don't uh, window and uh, property window go to view and click on properties property window is open and here uh, in the property window change the value of current 110 to amp 1 here value is uh, amp underscore 1 and uh, add a variable click on ok here local variable is added after the completion of this step prepare for the para parametric analysis modified the anchor position select anchor from history tree and uh, in property window change the jet position from 13 mm to 13 mm move 
select the anchor and uh, open the open the property window uh, for select anchor and double click on create ang uh, rectangle this is a property window here uh, change the Z here change the Z position here uh, in position replace the 13 13 by 13 mm dash move and uh, on ok here uh, again add variable name is move select uh, type is uh, length scroll and select length select length and uh, unit in mm value is 0 make it ok click on ok after the completion of this step uh, create an analysis setup for analysis setup right click on uh, analysis and uh, go to project manager this is the analysis right click on analysis click on add solution setup here this is our general tab uh, in general tab uh, change the maximum number of passes maximum number of passes is uh, 16 and percentage reduce the percentage errors the percentage error is 0 0.11 and uh, after the completion of this step go to solver tab so solver tab change the non-linear residual is uh, 1 E minus 6 and uh, click on OK and uh, apply validation check here all parameter is OK here our model is uh, ready to simulate close this tab and uh, right go to Maxwell 2D and click on analyze all save the project is uh, exp8 save and wait for some time okay check the access the normal completion on server okay fine after the completion of uh, setup analysis and anal and uh, analysis after the analyze model uh, view a solution data or view solution data go to maxwell 2d and search uh, results click on solution data this is our uh, solution data check one by one this is our solution data this is the force applied on anchor and uh, next step is first close this next step is set uh, parametric analysis for parametric analysis in project manager go to project manager first close the property window and uh, max manager go to project manager and uh, right click on optimatrix and uh, click on add parametric so our uh, sweep setup analysis here uh, click on add here the uh, variable is xamp choose the linear step start with uh, 500 5 ampere and 
start with uh, 500 ampere and start with uh, 500 change the value of st uh, stop is uh, 2000 ampere and uh, step is 500 and uh, click on add make it ok after that uh, set a parametric analysis here we set up a sweep analysis win uh, sweep analysis window for uh, move movement of anchor next step is uh, again click on add and uh, change the variable is the uh, move here choose a linear step start with 0 mm and stop with 4 mm and uh, steps choose step size uh, is uh, 1 mm click on add make it ok after that uh, go to option tab here check save period and messes and click on ok the setup sweep analysis is done and after that uh, next step is uh, setting DSO analysis for a DSO analysis here we activate a DSO solver basically DSO is a distributed solver option for distributed solver option go to tools and option click on HPC and analysis option here uh, select maximum 2D yes and click on edit here uh, choose the local host and uh, task is 3 core 3 and click on labor and uh, select a local machine and uh, click on ok that's ok ok here the DSO is activated after the completion of this step launch the parametric analysis ok for uh, launch a parametric analysis go to project manager and right click on parametric and click on analyze and wait for some time ok uh, analysis is done here after the completion of this step create xy plot here uh, plot uh, current versus uh, strength for this plot go to maxwell 2d and uh, results and uh, search create electromagnetic electrostatic report click on rectangular plot and uh, here select uh, x in in x okay here choose the force click on force dot uh, one j click on none and uh, here uh, in the sweep profile select uh, move and uh, make it ok
after that go to families tab here uh, select sweep and uh, variable is uh, all ampere one all and uh, select uh, select a new report or new report okay close tab this is uh, your force and this is your mm okay okay uh, this analysis is completed here after the completion of this uh, experiment we analyze the same model in with the help of uh, transient solver so first uh, copy this project and uh, paste this is our uh, pasted model okay here uh, first uh, change uh, change the name as you like okay after that uh, next step is uh, next step is uh, okay uh, next step is uh, go to maxwell 2d and uh, click on solution type geometrical mode is same trans uh, critical about jet or change the solver solver is transient make it okay after the completion of this step uh, create a band object here we create a band object with the help of uh, rectangle so again go to draw and choose rectangle put the coordinate of rectangle is x0 y0 and z is uh, 15 make it okay put the value of dx is 2.5 dy 0 and dz is minus 15 press enter key this is our band go to uh, history tree and double click on rectangle one change the name is pan and uh, material is uh, vacuum leave it is it and uh, assign color assign any light color when make it okay After the completion of this step, modify the excitation. For modify the excitation, first uh, go to Project Manager, Excitation and Slow Excitation, and delete the excitation. Right click and delete. And after that completion of this step, go to Maxwell 2D. Go to Maxwell 2D and uh, search excitation. Click on set eddy current effect. Here, uh, the eddy current effect is calculated on housing and anchor. Click the coil here and uh, click on OK again uh, select a coil from history this coil from history right click on it and uh, search excitation assign the coil here uh, name is coil and uh, the number of conductor is 500 uh, 10 conductor and uh, polarity is uh, sign polarity polarity is positive and uh, make it okay after the completion of excitation uh, modify excitations and create the winding 
go to Maxwell's uh, go to project manager and right click on excitation click on add winding winding is winding one winding underscore one and uh, current type is uh, here the type is uh, voltage and uh, choose the conductor standard and initial current is uh, 0 ampere and the resistance is 2 ohm and leave uh, inductance value by voltage is 10 and number of parallel branches is 1 press ok and uh, right click on go to project manager and right click on coil or uh, click on add to windings or uh, right click on winding and click on add to coils here uh, terminal not assign the winding select coil is 510 and uh, press ok after the completion of this step assign motion uh, for uh, assign motion select band so explore vacuum and select band from history and go to maxwell 2d search uh, model and explore model motion setup and uh, assign band here uh, motion type is translation select global jet and uh, moving back here uh, difference is uh, negative and go to data tab in data tab initial position is 0 mm negative 0 and positive 4.9 mm after that to go to mechanical tab in mechanical tab click on create mechanical transient here inertial velocity is 0 mass is uh, 1 gram and uh, damping is 0 and uh, write down load forces is minus 1000 put the multiplication symbol here write down position position and uh, for one and uh, unit uh, Newton and press ok after the complete of assign motion part next step is mesh operation assign mesh operation on band select band from the tree and uh, go to Maxwell 2D go to maxwell 2d search uh, mess operations assign inside section click on length based here name is uh, change the name change the name name is uh, band and the score length enabled and uh, set, set uh, maximum length of element is 0 0.1 mm and uh, uh, 
uncheck maximum number of uh, maximum number of additional element and make it okay okay and uh, next step is uh, create analysis setup for analysis setup here uh, after the completion of uh, uh, mess operation in band uh, we s apply for housing and anchor also so first select housing and anchor from history tree and uh, go to maxwell 2d and uh, search uh, mess operations assign inside section length based here uh, change the name name is uh, steel steel underscore length one and uh, length set the maximum length element is uh, 1 mm and uh, uncheck maximum number of additional elements make it ok after the completion of this step uh, create analysis setup go to maxwell 2d and uh, click on analysis setup add solution setup here uh, in general tab in general tab uh, stop the stop time is 20 second 20 millisecond and for the time step is 0 0.2 millisecond and uh, go to see save field tab here the uh, save field type or uh, tab sweep setup type is a uh, linear step choose the linear step and start with a zero millisecond and stop time is 20 millisecond and uh, step size is uh, 0 0.2 millisecond and click on add to list list and after that uh, go to solver tab and solver tab on linear SQL is 1e and 1e minus 6 and uh, click on ok and uh, apply validation check here all parameter is correct close this tab and uh, go to maxwell 2d click on analyze all wait for some time ok check message window normal this is done and uh, after the completion of analysis next step is uh, create a mess so plot message for plot message go to view and uh, click on set solution context and uh, change select time and uh, press ok and uh, go to edit and click select all and uh, go to maxwell 2d fields click on plot messes done this is your mess plot after the completion of mess plot 
uh, plot the flux lines so first uh, remove the mesh plot or remove the mesh plot go to project manager explore build overlays right click on mesh and uh, select delete as and uh, again repeat the same go to edit and click on select all and uh, again go to maxwell 2d search uh, field field a flux lines okay uh, flux lines plot Press done. This is your flux line plot. After the completion of uh, flux line plot, plot uh, magnetic flux density magnitude. First, remove the flux line plot from project manager. Right click on field overlays and Explore field overlays and right click, click on delete, yes, and again edit, click on select all, go to Maxwell 2D, fields, fields, B, B magnitude, done, this is your uh, flux density plot, after the completion of flux density plot, uh, plot force versus time rectangular plot for rectangular plot go to project manager and uh, right click on result and click on create transient repo select rectangular plot select uh, force here uh, domain is sweep and parameter is none select force here select uh, moving force 1 and moving force load force and uh, click on new report ok this is a method which can help me plot uh, plots so this workshop is uh, completed here thank you